Hello, I'm Aaron the Handyman. I just want to go over a quick uh, overview of my trailer's electrical. So up here on the roof, starting there, I have two solar panels. You notice I get a good sun. This is parked on the side of my house. Um, those panels are both rated for 220 watts. I also have a spot over there next to my door to be able to plug in an extension cord for cloudy days when I don't get enough power. Coming around here to the back of my trailer. It's not perfectly clean, but uh, starting at the back here, I did have, uh, well, I did add a three-way switch. So it's here, runs over, and goes over by this door here, depending which way I'm going in and out, but it's easy to turn on or off with these. The 120 comes up. This is fed all the time. So this is 120 right here. It feeds all four chargers for the nice long line of batteries that I have. Coming over to here, this is the actual switched outlet from the three-way switches. Uh, they run over. I have three LED lights. They are four foot or just under four foot a piece. And then I also have a fan. So when the lights are on, I can come over here and give it a click. And that blows right down the middle of my trailer to provide some air. Behind this is where everything is. So, coming over here, you can see that is where the power comes in for the plug outside for an extension cord. It comes underneath here, goes right up here and feeds into this. This is a multi plus, it's a, it's a 12 volt, 2000 watt, 80 amp inverter charger. That, so that will take the 120 power from outside. It'll run it over in this MC cord, comes up and over, that hits that plug, that plug, my lights and everything. But uh, when I have it plugged in like I do right now, it is actually in charger mode. So it's just letting the power go through to run the devices in here. But coming out of here in 12 volt, you can see it comes right over to here, ties into this. This is just a distribution with fuses all on the inside, a battery disconnect a shunt on the negative to be able to do my power readings. It's all controlled through the Victron power app. Come over here, I have two 12 volt batteries. Both of them are 100 amp hours. And I believe they're linked in, uh, I don't remember which one is, the series or parallel, whatever it is. Um, it just doubles the amperage, but keeps the voltage the same. If they're wired the other way, it would double the voltage, but keep the amp hour the same. So those feed back into here. Up top, I'm gonna to pull this around like this. You can see this is my solar charge controller right here. Comes down, feeds into here. That is a DC breaker that comes over, feeds the charge controller. And the DC breaker, those wires run over to here and they go up to the roof right there. So that is a quick overview. This does, um, this does Bluetooth. This is a Bluetooth dongle for this. And then that actually produces Bluetooth, so I can actually pull it up on the Victron app and see what's going on. I also have a, an exhaust fan right above it for the heat for this electrical area, as I am in Florida and it does get quite warm. Yep, any questions, feel free to hit me up. Once again, it's Aaron the Handyman.